Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to find cumulative salary of an employee. So, this is my record at here. So, about the cumulative salary. So, at your salary column. So, at your thousand. So, the row is start from thousand. So, after that, that add. So, thousand plus two thousand. Add you know, that display three thousand. Three plus three. 6,000, 6 plus 4,000, 10,000, 10,000 plus 4,000, 14,000 and 14,000 plus 5,000, 19,000. So if this kind of situation comes, so this so we can say our cumulative salary. So let's so, uh, use at here by query. So at here I'm using EMP table and here I'm going to do the cumulative salary on salary column. So this is the EMP employee record. So let's write the query. So at here, uh, select. And here after I'm going to select EMP number. Next is going to select E name. And here after DPT number. And here next column is that. Now here after let's use some function. For cumulative sum salary, we need to use some function, some aggregated function. And here after past that column. Now here after over by so over cross we need to use and here after order by so giving the order so see at your uh, sand column or in random order so giving the order on sand column so add and here after let's get column alias sand one and here after get the table name from emp table now let's execute this query so see at here this is the sand column and here I have selected total four uh, columns and here this is the one. So in place of this on in place of this one, so it's a displaying side one. So see the uh, cumulative salary some calculation 800. So it's it's a displaying 800. Now 800 uh, plus 950, 1750, 1750 plus 1100, 2850, 2850 plus 2150. So add here 5350. So add 5350. So so 5350 it's still coming so i'm not getting the expected output because at here when the salaries are duplicate but at here the employees are different so the name of employees ward and here martin and emp number also different so when those uh, uh, style columns are uh, same columns values are same so at here i'm not getting the expected output so at uh, these things are counting one so for this uh, we have to use something like uh, we need to use range or let's check by range function so add your order by now include add your range function so add your range and range between going to use between operator and here unbounded so about the unbounded preceding and unbounded flowing i already discussed in my previous video so please go through that one and at your current row or oh, PRE C T I N G. So let's execute that one. So see at your uh, 800, it's a displaying 800, 950, 1750, 1750, 1100. So at here, uh, I'm getting the uh, uh, still the same output. So this query and this query work almost work same. Now, here after in place of range function, we need to use rows function. So if you are going to use the rows function, so let's execute that one. So now here I'm getting the expected output. So at here 800, 800 plus 950, 1750, 1750 plus 1100, 2 So like this, that are going to add it one by one row. So this, you know, this kind of things we can say cumulative salary. Now here after I'm going to uh, show you how to calculate to uh, or cumulative salary on department wise. So we need to use at your partition by class. Partition by on DPT number. So I'm going to partition on DPT number. So DPT 10 in one group, 20 in one group, 13 in one group. So here let's execute that one. So about the partition and over by class I already discussed. So please watch my previous video. So see at your 10. So 10 has the uh, two rows. 1350 so 1350 plus 2450 it's a 3750 it's a display correct and you have to see at here 3000 3000 so it's a uh, 
so add here 9 4 3 4 and here after 2 and 4 3 4 so 800 start for 800 800 plus 11 and 19 19 15 60 3 4 60 like this that i'm going to add so this kind of things we can say cumulative salary of employee so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you